that. Coach, a great game tonight. One nothing over George Mason. Your assessment of tonight's game? Uh, I think it's officially nil nil, Jim. We're on penalties. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Uh, I thought the first half was pretty even. Uh, second half, I thought we started to pass the ball a lot better. We got around the outside and had two or three chances, but then they had a couple of chances coming through the midfield with number 13, and Adam made a couple of great stops. And then over time, I, I thought we were in the ascendancy and we passed the ball well, and, and we had uh, you know three or four chances that we didn't finish. So overall, I thought maybe 55, 45 for us in the game. I thought we controlled most of the after the first half. Uh, but we just couldn't get the goal and um, I'm just thankful we won on penalties. I thought our boys were really cool, calm and collected and, and, and slotted the penalties away well and Adam Janowski came up with a big save so I'm happy for Adam. He, he's toiled at this programme for five years and never got a chance really and now he's shining so uh, kudos to uh, Adam Janowski. I'm really happy for him and his family. Coach, standing on the sidelines getting set for the penalty kick. What do you tell your goalkeeper, Adam Janowski? How do you prepare? You tell him nothing. I told him nothing. I told him to enjoy himself before the game, and I didn't get in his head or anything. I just let him go out there. We'd been practicing penalties, and he'd started off pretty poorly in uh, in practice, but he got he got into a better rhythm. We asked him to hold his line another half a second. I think he paid dividends, you know. So, again, great save. Told him nothing, and uh, he got on with the job. And Warren Janowski, that save he made in the second overtime, and he dove out, and then a couple of saves yeah. throughout the game. Just talk yeah. about. I think his best save was down low to his right. Uh, was that in the regulation second. time with her first overtime? There was a, uh, the one touch that he made the dive yeah, and yeah, yeah. To right. uh, He's just done everything well. He's done what he's had to do. And, and uh, he's made three or four very good saves. But their keeper's made three or four very good saves. So from our point of view, you know, very even game, as we said, with us slightly towards the end of the game. I thought our fitness was good. And I thought we got at them, you know, uh, towards the end of the game. But Greg Andrewlis is a great coach. They're a great team. And we were fortunate to come out on the winning side after penalties. And coach, you just have to mention, uh, we've talked about that back line so many times, even though, you, of course, you're advancing. Sean Foster, Stefan Brea, AJ Laza, Adam Janowski, they're playing their last game here at Hofstra Soccer Stadium. What can you say about the emotional way that they're going away? Oh, well, fantastic. Sean Foster couldn't take a penalty. His foot was, you know, was hurt. I think he'll be all right for Friday, hopefully. But it just shows the emotion that goes into the game. And uh, uh, from my point of view, Stefan Brea was tremendous tonight. And AJ was pulling with a, uh, playing with a slightly pulled hamstring. So AJ, Tyler, Foster, Stefan Berea, and all the guys who came off the bench did well too in midfield. I thought Marius was very good defensively. Felix had a good last 20 minutes. So it's an all-round team effort. In the first half, you bring in Joseph Holland going in yeah. Those two, talk about those two substitutions. Well, the, the idea was to hold the game steady the first 15, 20, 25 minutes, and then Florian Pop and Joe are probably a bit more dynamic moving forward. So we thought we'd introduce them and get out them a bit more. And I think it worked. And again, you know, back and forth again in the first half, but they played very well. Florian's energy is tremendous, and that's, you know, what we're looking for there. And Joe's, he's just, he's got so much guile on the field. You always think he's going to break the opposition down. And then, of course, what can you say about the junior at the end, Chris Greaves, and when your, your team seeing them explode off the line? I mean, does that get you excited for the yeah, next round uh, against Drexel? Or? Yeah, it's, um, you know, uh, it just shows the pride we have and, and the togetherness we have. Yeah, I was worried with Chris Greaves because he missed a penalty in the last uh, overtime against Monmouth, and that was his first penalty since. So, um, from my point of view, he's a brave man. He got up there and he smashed it in, apparently. So, uh, well done, Chris Greaves. I think this, like, the last few minutes of regulation, both teams had their chances offensively. Yes. You just talk about you know, the excitement, the nerves that went through your... Uh, yeah, sort of well, you don't want to be a coach when that's yeah. happening. You know, maybe the fans are happy. But no, he, he, again, I felt quite comfortable with our group. And I thought, you know, he, the chances were half chances. They weren't like glaring chances. For them. So I felt quite comfortable. And I, we, we caught in their situation. Well, they've got some three or four very good players. That centre forward is as good as anything we've played against them. How he runs at you, he's dangerous. So, uh, again, our, our guys defended magnificently, and from my point of view, I think, you know, I'm happy we've won, and I think we've slightly deserved it. No, no offense to uh, Josh Mason. You know.